Hi everyone! I'm Belle, the Knee Activities Coordinator at camp, and today we are going to do some knot tying. So we're going to wait for some friends to join us, um, and while we're waiting, I am really curious to hear what you all have been up to this week. Um, so I know that this week we had a few things going on. Um, one, we had a campfire challenge to write some letters to camp. So I'm curious if you all did write some letters to camp. So if you did, why don't you write a comment and let me know if you've done that. Because um, I'd really love to hear if you have. I think that would be so cool if you did. Um, and I'm really excited to hear about those and read those letters. Um, also, Graham, Chef G, um, made some really cool, a really cool video the other day for some power balls. So if you made any power balls, let me know. Um, I am really curious to hear what you put in those. Um, Chef G and I are roommates, so I am lucky enough that I just got to eat some of the leftovers there. Um, they were delicious, and I bet the ones that you made at home were delicious as well. So drop a comment and let me know what you put in your power balls at home. So again, today we're going to do some knot tying, and we're just going to wait for our friends to join us. It looks like Brady's here. Hi Brady. You made the power balls? Wonderful and they were delicious. Oh, that's I'm so glad to hear that. Hi Emma. Did anyone write a letter to camp yet? If you haven't yet, you still have some time to write one. Um, we may be reading some of those out to share with our friends and the camp community. So think about doing that today if you're looking for something to do. Hey, Andre, welcome. Glad you joined us. So it looks like we have a few friends here. Oh, Brady and Carrie are working on writing a letter to camp. That's awesome. We're excited to hear that. So it looks like we have a few friends here. So we'll go ahead and get started on knot tying. So the first thing that I want to tell you all is what makes a good knot. So this is something that we teach everyone at camp who works on our ropes course. So we have a few knots actually more than a few. We have a few knots that our um, staff who work at our ropes course need to learn before they're allowed to work up there because we want to make sure everyone is very safe. And before they learn any of these knots, they need to learn what makes a good knot. And there are three things that make a knot a good knot. If you know any of those, you can go ahead and write them in the comments. And I know I see at least one person watching who knows what some of these are. And I'll give you a hint. The first thing is that, hmm, would a knot be a good knot if it was really, really hard to tie? Hmm. I don't know. I don't think so though. So the first quality of a good knot is that it's easy to tie and it's also really easy to untie. So all the knots we learned today are going to be really pretty easy to tie after you know how to tie them. So they're going to be a little tricky to learn at first, but once you know how to tie them, they're pretty easy to tie and they're pretty easy to untie. Um, they're also, once they're tied and they're set correctly, you can identify them from far away. And that's important because you want to look at a knot if you're on the ropes course or if you're mountain climbing or anything you want to be able to look at a knot and know that it's tied correctly and it's going to keep you safe and finally the last thing and this one's pretty tricky to figure out is that it's going to maintain the strength of the rope and what that means is that when you tie this knot that rope is still going to be really strong so those are the three things it's easy to tie and it's easy to untie 
it's easy to identify so you can tell what knot it is from far away and it maintains the strength of the rope. All right, so you're ready to learn knots? We're gonna learn, let's see, I think four knots today. So the first knot we're gonna learn, I bet most of you already know, and this is an overhand knot. So I'm gonna put my hand out like this so that you all can see how to tie these knots. And so I'm gonna show you the first time, just so you can see, and the second time I'll walk you through it, and then I'll show you a third time as well. And some of these are gonna be really tricky to learn, but don't worry because you can go back and you can watch this video again and again to practice as many times as you need. So an overhand knot, you're gonna take your rope, and you may not have a rope like this, but if you have a string or a shoelace or some yarn, really anything, it'll work. So you're gonna take your rope or your string, wrap it around your hand one time, so it looks kind of like this, and then pull it through from behind and pull it. So it makes a little pretzel like that. And I bet most of you would have tied this knot before. And that's called an overhand knot. So we'll do it one more time. Wrap it around your hand once. Pull it through the loop. And you have an overhand knot. And one final time. Wrap it all the way around. Pull it through from behind. And pull it tight. That's an overhand knot. And so the next one we're gonna learn, do y'all feel good about an overhand knot? Because the next one we're gonna learn is a double overhand knot. And sometimes we call this a barrel knot as well. So it starts the same way. You're gonna wrap that rope around your hand once, and then you're gonna wrap it twice. Then you have two loops on your hand here. So you're gonna pull that rope through both of those loops and pull it. So it'll look like that. So you'll kind of have an X on one side and two straight lines on the other. And that's a double overhand or a barrel knot. So we'll do it one more time. So one time around, two times around, pull through both those loops and pull it tight. So what do you all think you might use this knot for? Can you think of any uses? Hmm. think while we're tying it again. I might use it on my shoes. If I, you know, don't want to tie them every time, I might just tie the laces off. I might do that. On the ropes course, we use this sometimes as a stopper knot. So after we tie a knot, we'll tie this as a backup knot just to make it extra, extra safe. So I'm gonna show you a really cool use for it and one that you can use at home. So we just did it around our hand, but now we're gonna replace our hand with the other end of the rope. So you've got your rope or your string like this, make sure it kind of makes a loop with no tangles so take that other end in your hand and slide it on down. And then I kind of keep like two fingers out just to keep the rope straight so I can work with it a little bit. And then I'm gonna take this and do the same thing I was doing around my hand, but just around these two fingers in the rope. So I'm gonna go one time around 
two times around and then pull it through. And so you see how now it's around the rope and I can slide it along the rope. So that's pretty cool. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So give yourself a good amount to work with. That last time I didn't give myself enough to work with, I don't think so. I'll give myself a little bit more this time. So we're going to go one time around, two times around, and pull it through both those loops. And now you have a nice little circle, just like this. And you can slide those open and closed. You can make it longer and shorter. So you have kind of four lines on one side and two X's on the other. Can you think of any uses for this? What you could maybe use this little loop for? Or have you seen this loop used before? We'll tie it again while we're thinking about that. Hmm. we use this for? On the ropes course, we use it for all sorts of things. Start over. We could use it as a way to hook things to our gear loops on, on our harness. We can use it as a way to ascend another rope, which is pretty cool. So to climb another rope, that's a neat way you could use it. One way that you might have seen it used at camp or that you could use it at home is to make a bracelet. So you can make this out of string or yarn. So I have this one right here that I've had for a long time. That's just made out of, it's called paracord. You can make it out of anything really. You can wear it as a bracelet and I can adjust the length. So that's pretty cool use. So we'll tie this one one more time. And it's a tricky one, so I'm gonna scoot a little closer so you can see it a little better. around one time, two times, and through both of those loops. And then you just pull it tight. And you've got a little X there. And two straight lines on the other side. And then you just turn it the other way. And you do the same thing. So you go around once, twice and through the two loops and pull it and you can move them just like that. Awesome. So again, these are pretty tricky when you're first learning them. I've been, I've learned how to tie these a long time ago. So that's why I can tie them pretty quickly. But when I first learned them, it took me a long time to get them down. So feel free to watch this as many times as you need to practice. All right, the next one we're going to learn is one of my favorite knots. It actually might be my favorite knot, and it's called a butterfly knot. So I'm going to hold my hand out again, and I'm just going to lay the rope over it. I'm going to have a short little tail in the back and a long tail in the front. I'm going to take that long tail in the front and I'm going to wrap it around once and twice. So I have one, two, three loops over my hand. I'm going to hold them in place with my thumb and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 
loop the furthest away from me and I'm gonna bring it back so now it's the closest one to me and hold it in place with my thumb and I'm gonna do that again take the furthest loop move it back so it's closest to me now it gets pretty wild I'm gonna reach underneath the first two loops and grab the one closest to me and pull it out and pull it off of my hand and just pull 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 and you might think wow how cool we're done already that's a neat knot right there but it gets even wilder you're gonna take your two tail ends right here and you're gonna pull them out to the side and you're gonna kind of feel it pop into place and that is when you're gonna know you're done so it's gonna look a little bit like two little butterfly wings that's how I used to remember what it was called when I was first learning it hi Allie welcome so you've got two little butterfly wings there so we'll do that one more time so short tail in the back long tail in the front one loop two loop and it helps if you leave them kind of loose take the furthest one bring it closest to you do it again furthest one closest to you reach underneath and pull that furthest one out there you go pull two tail ends out and there you go that's your knot and this knot's really, really cool because most knots that have a loop are only good and only work in one direction. So you can only pull on them in one direction, but this one you can pull on in three different directions. So if the rope's hanging this way, I can pull this way. If it's hanging the other way, I can pull the other way. And if it's hanging this way, if I had a third arm, maybe I can use my nose. I can pull down on it and it works this way. That didn't work too well, but I tried and it'll still hold the weight. So it's pretty neat. And you can also tie this right in the middle of a rope. So at camp we use this when we're using the team hall. We use it to tie handholds, which is pretty neat. So we'll do it one more time. Can you all think of any other uses for this? So one, one, two, three, go back and back again. Pull that through and out. All right, awesome. And we're gonna do one more, and this one's really fun. So, you're gonna lay your rope out in front of you and cross your arms and pick up your rope. Hey Kayla, welcome. This one's called a clove hitch. So I'm going to start over. Lay your rope out in front of you. Cross your arms. And pick up your rope. And then just uncross your arms. And so you're going to have two loops. And so they're going to be in opposite directions. So one's going to be in front. One's going to be behind. And what you're going to do is you're going to over, you're going to lay them over each, each other. But the one that's in front, the loop that has your tail in front is behind and the loop that has the tail behind is going to go in front so it's really going to look like a pretzel when you start just like that and that is all you do so now what's cool about this one is you can wrap it around anything so i can wrap it around my pen and it'll tighten up and it'll hold on to it pretty neat. So we'll do that one more time. Cross your arms, pick up your rope, uncross it, tail end in front goes behind, and then you can tighten it and it'll hold on. So this one's really handy. I've found it very handy right now because now that I've been home a lot, um, I've been doing a lot of cleaning. And so I've been carrying around my Lysol wipes, um, but I've found this one to come in very handy. So 
I've taught, you know, I've made my, my clove hitch. And then what I've done is I've just put it right around my life saw and I've just made a nice little belt. And then I don't, I don't have to carry them. They're just right there. And I can just pull out a little life saw wipe and clean. So handy. Feel free to use that tip at home. That's great. Life saw wipes. Um, if you have a pencil, a like hard pencil pouch, it works for that. Um, all sorts of things. Anything that you can just like tie it around, make a little belt out of it. It's perfect. So those are all of the knots we are going to do today. Um, if you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments. We can do this again sometime and we can do a whole family of knots in the future. Um, the figure eight knots, um, <laughs> which uh, have just so many variations and are, I think, maybe one of my favorite kinds of knots. Um, yeah, Kayla, it's very handy um, to use that one. I, mm -hmm. Pro tip right there. Um, but yeah, let me know. We can do another knot tying segment and do some figure eight knots. Those are really handy. Um, and we use them a lot at the ropes course too. So um, next time you're, you're at camp and you're at the ropes course, you can see all these knots and you can, you can see them and you can really impress the ropes staff and volunteers and say like, hey, this is, this is, a, this is a butterfly knot. That's really impressive that you've tied it so well. And they'll say, wow, how do you know what this is? And it'll just, you'll really impress everyone with your knowledge. Um, so thank you for joining me. This was so much fun. Um, I had a blast teaching you these knots. Um, so please let me know what your favorite knot was in the comments. Um, I hope you join us tonight for campfire. We have a really special campfire planned. Um, this weekend we have a lot of really fun things going on. Campfire is at 7 tonight. And this weekend we have a lot of fun things going on. We have a reflection time tomorrow morning on Saturday. Um, and then Sunday we have stretching. Um, we have a really special guest for stretching. So be sure to tune in for that to find out who it is. Um, and then our schedule will go up Sunday evening. So be sure to check in over the weekend for all of those fantastic things. Thanks for joining. Bye.